is out number one. There's a look at Fernando. He's going to get a chance to swing the bat in a pinch hitting role. So the Cubs do get a look at him. Valenzuela hitting 214 this year is one for three as a pinch hitter. No home runs, but he does have five RBIs. That ends a very successful stint for Dennis Powell. All the damage was done to the starting pitchers. Ed Lynch gave up four runs. Alejandro Pena gave up six. High bounder up the middle. Hits the bag and bounds over Dunstan's head, and it'll go as a base hit. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. So Valenzuela picks up a pinch single, and now he will leave. And a pitcher for a pitcher. Oral Hershiser is going to pinch run for the pitcher who pinch hit. Valenzuela leaves. Hershiser takes over at first base. We don't have any running statistics on Oral Hershiser, except that he does run better than Fernando Valenzuela. Ground ball, base hit to right. Here comes Hershiser. Keith Moreland charging. Here comes the throw. He's out at home. And I think the Cubs got a tremendous break on the call by Bob Davidson. We'll take another look at it, but Tommy Lasorda is livid. And here's the play at the plate. Tommy's had better weekends than this one in Chicago. I know that. Looked to me like the leg of Hershiser crossed the plate long before Jody Davis tagged him. But the only opinion that counts is the man down at home plate. And Steve, a big play on that particular development. Oops, there goes Lasorda. I think, I'm not sure if it's Lasorda or Hershiser, but Davidson has just kicked somebody out. 